Hey guys, welcome back to Mindset Managed. We are now at the halfway mark through the year, it's July, so that means that we've done six months and we have six months left to go. And of course, at this time of the year, you wanna step back a minute, take a breath and reflect on what has gone and think about what you wanna do with the rest of the year. But I believe this is the perfect time to look over what your goals were for the year. What were your New Year's resolutions? What were your intentions? What did you want to do in 2019? I think majority of us actually fall off on our resolutions by February, March time. So by actively checking back and revisiting those and seeing if they're still what we want to do or if it's something we have accomplished and we can set something new or if it's something we um, haven't accomplished and we need to get back on, on the ball with it. Um, this is the perfect time to revisit those and have a think because of course um, they can get left in the background when we stop thinking about them and we stop um, actively going after them like at the start of the new year you're always like go 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 with your goals but what do you do six months in when you feel like a, the year is gone and it's passed you by right so you need to revisit your goals but you need to do a few other things as well and what the most important thing is is that you need to be grateful for what has been and gone so I don't know what kind of year you've had so far. If you're like me, it hasn't been exactly what you expected. It hasn't been brilliant. It's not exactly what you'd wish for, but it's actually been a sort of blessing in disguise in a way. And so you need to take the time to find at least three things, even if they're three small things, to be grateful for. And then take a breath, feel it, and truly own that gratitude because you will not manifest more good things or even better things into your life if you're not grateful for what you already have. And by practicing gratitude, we are practicing being happy, we are being joyful, even the moment we're seeing the good instead of the bad. Think about what you have achieved. Now, it can be so easy to look back on the year and think it went so fast and you did nothing. Like, I know that I've worried that I haven't done as much as I did this time last year. Right, um, this time last year I'd been on two holidays and they were amazing holidays that had tested me, pushed me out of my comfort zone. I was so beautiful things and I spent quite a bit of time with my partner, but things have been different this year and I haven't been able to go away yet. And so it's really weird that six months in we haven't even done one holiday. Um, and it's so easy to fixate on that one thing, like I haven't done this, but there's so many other things that you have done, even if they're small. So find those things and write them down and think, oh, okay, I'm not doing as bad as I thought. Oh, okay, my calendar is more packed than I thought. I'm doing more and it's okay. I'm, I'm on track more than I realise, right? So get some perspective and really realise what have you actually done. And if you haven't done anything, that's fine. You can make some plans now to do something for the next six months. Next thing to think about is a really good one is, how have you felt? Have you felt mostly happy, mostly sad? When and where have you been inspired? Who have you been inspired with? Who have you been spending the most of your time with? What have you been spending the most of your time doing? What would you like to change? Think about those things because how you feel is really important. You could be doing loads of amazing things, achieving loads of goals, traveling, um, hanging out with loads of people, really progressing. But if you're not happy whilst you're doing it, is it quite what you want to be doing? Maybe you need to change your goals or change your crowd or change your actions so that you can be happy because what's the point of doing things if you're not happy? Obviously, I understand there's a certain level of uh, stress or, you know, doing what you don't want to do in order to get to the larger goal sometimes, but you have to put that into perspective and you have to understand, is this actually going towards what you want? Is it actually what you want to be feeling right now? Is it what you need to be feeling just for the short term, for the long term? Are you actually doing the right things? This is the time to take a break and reflect on that and to make a change where needed because your feelings of happiness, of joy, should be at the forefront. You should be feeling inspired with the people that you're with. How have you changed and grown? Like, I believe that we really can change in just a six month period. It seems like a short amount of time, but I believe that you really can change a whole lot in who you are from January to July, from July until December, right? And it is up to you to actively make that happen or to at least be aware of that happening, right? And so obviously I talk about self-development, I talk about personal growth, we talk about health, and that's all really important, but you need to understand why you're doing it, what are your intentions behind it? What do you actually want to achieve? Who do you actually want to be? Those things are really important. You can't just 
decide you're going to read 50 books because somebody else who's a YouTuber said that they're going to read 50 books. If that's not important for you, if that's not intention for you in your life, then you're going to be wasting a lot of your time trying to read a lot of books because you think that's impressive, but it's actually not what you are happy doing. It's perfectly fine to read two books a month, right? So that's 24 books. You don't need to read double that if it's not for you. Um, so being really clear on your goals and why you're doing them is really important and it's important to notice what are those goals doing towards your growth? Are, have you got any goals towards your growth? Do you care about your growth? I think that you should. Um, it's more important to grow as a person than to grow on any kind of outward um, aesthetic, like trying to fit an image. There is no image of perfection, so you attaining the goal of you is the most important thing. The next thing to think about is what needs to stay the same and what needs to change. So this is where you take a moment to think, okay, so I was doing all of these things right, these things have been really good, this is what's working, so let's move that on to be something that you do in the next six months. And then it's also a time to think, okay, this didn't work, I thought it was going to work, I thought it's what I wanted, but it's not. So I'm going to discard that and think of something new and bring that into the plan for the next six months. Because there's no point doing things that aren't working, the things that don't feel good, the things that clearly aren't for you. But you also, it's really hard because you also need to see, like, where there's need for perseverance because it's really important to you it's definitely what you need to do and where there's need to readjust and rethink exactly how you're going to get to the same goal or if that goal is even important anymore and maybe there's something else you need to do so it is very personal and it depends on what you're going after but you need to have that self-awareness and to notice what's going on and to really think about your intentions and what you even want because it might not be the same as it was in January or at the end of December last year when you set the, the goals for this year. This is the perfect time to do a routine check and to see if you need to rearrange anything so we all get into these routines these habits that we do um, it obviously depends what your work life is like it, that will shape your routine but what are you doing first thing in the morning do you have a morning routine is your morning routine serving you or can you implement new things shift things around maybe just do something different just for the fun of it you know um, what is your work routine like do you answer emails first thing or do you have a coffee and a chat first do you try and get your work done first and then do all of that like what do you do and how is it working for you and do you need to switch it around maybe maybe it's fun to just switch it around to see what feels better to see if you can have more fun with it what is your evening routine your night routine what is your weekly routine? What are the things that you want to get done? What are the new habits you want to ingrain? This is the time to check in on those things, not for any kind of pressure reasons, not to beat yourself up, not to lay, lay blame or anything like that, but instead to just feel like you are in control of your life and to think about, okay, so this is what's working, this is what's not, this is what's serving me, this is what's not, this is who I want to be, this is what I don't want to be, and to make the right choices with that knowledge. And the last thing you want to do is check in, just check in with yourself in these different areas, in your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, your social health and your spiritual health. So how is your body? What has it been going through? Are you feeling aches and pains? Is it in peak physical condition that you can put it in for now? Are there steps that you can take to fix that? What is your mental health like? What are your thoughts? What is your inner dialogue? Is it really negative or really positive? Are you using affirmations to instill positive thoughts or are you letting your thoughts run ragged? Are you letting your thoughts cause you anxiety, cause you depression and low moods? What is your mental health doing? What is your belief system? What is your perception of the world when you go out into it? What is your go-to thoughts and feelings, right? Next one is your emotional health. So how are you feeling? What are the um, triggers that are causing you emotional reactions? Are you aware of them? Are you using emotional intelligence to then think, okay, I understand my emotions, I know why you're here, I'm working through you and I'm reacting in a, a logical manner, or are you letting them run the show? Is your emotional health causing you to feel low? Is your emotional health causing you to be bad in your relationships? The next one is your social health. So are you interacting with the right people? Are you being a bit lonely, a bit of a hermit right now? Have you been neglecting your friends, your family? Have you been neglecting yourself? Who have you been interacting with? Did it make you feel good and inspired and challenged or did it make you feel low because you're hustling for self-worth and trying to fit in with the wrong crowd? Check in on that. And the last one is your spiritual health. So what is your spirit saying to you and are you listening to it? 
Do you feel connected to your inner self? Do you feel aligned with who you really are? Are you following your passion and your purpose? Are you doing things that are in line with the universe's plan or God's plan or whatever you believe? Are you doing things that bring you joy, that bring you fulfillment, that have meaning to you, to fill the spirit? If not, then fix things, make changes, make a plan. It's okay, it's all right, but you have to check in with your uh, physical, mental, emotional, social and spiritual health as a whole. Holistic health is the most important because all of these things leak into and influence one another. So yes, we're halfway through the year, guys. That does not mean that the year is over. It means we're only halfway. So we've used six months, but we have six months left. So if you've done a lot in six months and you have another six months to do a lot with those, and if you haven't done a lot in the, in the first six months, then it's okay, you still have six months left. You have time and you are in control. I've said a lot in this video, but I want you to take the time to think about these things. It's just about thinking about your goals, your intentions, your wants and feelings, your habits and routines, and your health. Think about those things and check in with what's gone, reflect on what's gone, and make a plan for what's yet to come. Take care guys, consider that mindset managed.